So I've got the ham radio operator's disease. Not the one you're thinking of. <laughs> I've had my antenna up about a month and now I want to change it. Why do we do this to ourselves? I hope you're keeping well anyway. And uh, name's Tim, the call is uh, G5TM, Golf 5 Tango Mike. And I'm in the south coast of England. And uh, yeah, I've been in the old uh, hobby now for a few years and uh, I'm loving every minute of it. So then, uh, my antenna. Well, uh, you may well have seen, maybe you haven't, a video I did uh, about, well, about a month ago on installing the, the antenna at my sort of new shack here. So it's a 50 foot uh, doublet, or so about 15 meters or something, something along those lines. And uh, centre fed, of course, ladder line, and uh, does well 40 meters with 10. In fact, it tunes on 60 meters as well. And that's a different story, a different video about 60 meters. Um, yeah, so great, it works well. Uh, no complaints at all. I've worked Trinidad on 12 meters, my first ever 12 meter contact. Uh, 40 meters works great. Um, 17, 15, 20, eight, not a problem. But it's the dark evenings now in the UK. It's, uh, well, where are we going towards the middle part of December already? And of course, I work full time. So if I have a bit of time to go on the radio, which isn't much during the week, but if I have a bit of time, you turn on, go on 40 meters and you hear one or two stations. You might hear the States coming through in the evening, which is nice, but there isn't a lot of activity on there. So I'm having to bite the bullet, I think, and do something about my 50 foot, 15 meter doublet. So here's my plan. You might think this is an absolute uh, waste of time or you might think it's something that you might try. So don't be afraid to put your comments below and let me know what you think too, because I want to value your opinion on this. So um, yeah, see what you think. So uh, yeah, the idea, well, as I say, 80 meters. Now to get on 80 meters, uh, I think the minimum length really to make a, 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 a doublet do fairly well is about 88 feet. Uh, what's that in meters? Oh, but 23 meters, something like that, uh, if you're looking in metric. So um, the idea, therefore, I think, is to make an, a doublet around that sort of height. But that would mean some compromises. That would mean having to snake it round a bit. It would be fairly low towards the ends, about eight, seven to eight feet. Um, but the family are well briefed about uh, not uh, touching the ends of a dike ball or a doublet like that. That's OK. But of course, the problem is, it'll get me on 80 and 40. Um, 40 metres, I know, given my QTH, I'm not going to have a pile-up breaking amazing antenna on 40. I'm quite happy to pootle around Europe, make the odd DX contact into the States or Canada. And, uh, you know, Inter-G is my thing. Anyway, I love Inter-G. So, great. Yeah, no problem. And 80 metres, well, you know, fine. 500, 500 maybe the 750 mile footprint, if I'm lucky. All over the UK, lovely. But for that, it's great. But of course, the problem is, if you rely on such an antenna, um, once you get beyond a certain length, you're going to see pattern breakups on the higher HF bands. So you'll see lobes, but plenty of nulls. So the pattern will be like a like a hedgehog, especially on the higher higher bands. So this is my idea: 94 feet or something like that. It'll be for the uh, for 1840, and then for the higher bands, that's 20 and up, up to 10 then I'm going to also have like a fan doublet. So I'll have the, the two 47 foot legs, or how much is that? 12, 13 meter legs, whatever they are, 14 meter legs. And then have another uh, set of wires coming off, like a fan doublet really. Uh, two 13 foot legs, which is about four meters each. Uh, they'll be slightly higher. So they'll be the higher, higher wires. Um, and then you'll have the ones, look, they'll be a bit like that, and then the other ones will be a bit like that for the longer wires, and then they'll snake, snake off and taper off, whatever they have to do in their mad way. So the the shorter doublet then would be just basically be a 17 meter dipole, really. A dipole for 17 meters, which obviously will be fed by the same ladder line as the, the much longer doublet. And I'm hoping that will do well, obviously, on 17. It'll be, it should be fine on 15, 12, and 10. It's a 3 8 on 20, and that should be okay as well. So that's the, that's the plan. I'm pretty certain, given the relative lengths of the antennas, that 40 and 80, um, and this is, this is why I'm, well, I'm saying I'm pretty certain, I'm hopeful that this is right, that 40 and 80 will, will basically you know, radiate from the longer antenna, and then 
certainly 17 will find a natural home in, in basically what, what will be a halfway dike bowl for it. And so that'll be the shorter antenna. And so will 15, 12 and 10. But 20 meters, I'm hoping will also be served by the shorter wire. However, whilst the 17 meter dike pole, the 30 or the, the, the 26 foot long shorter antenna then I know is resonant on 17 meters, that'll, that'll find a home there. I'm still, because the 94 foot uh, dubbit isn't resonant on any band, I, I'm supposing it'll act a bit like a fan dike pole in that the, the RF will find the point of least resistance and take the, the easier path, so the easier antenna if you like. So I'm hoping that's going to be the case, that the 94 foot um, wire will serve 40 and 80 and that the, the 26 foot wire, the 8 meter dike pole if you like, will service the higher bands. But, I mean it depends doesn't it, what the resistance is. Will there be, will there be any chance that the higher bands might actually be radiated by all, all four bits of wire, you know, both the uh, you know the, or both antennas, both the the eight meter long doublet and the, uh, the ninety foot four four foot long was that 27, 20, uh, yeah twenty eight meter long uh, doublet. So ah, it's a real real one to work out. I, I'm not one for antenna software. I haven't got antenna software on my computer. I haven't really learned how to use M M A N A that kind of thing. So that's something I need to do actually, it's on, my, it's on my to-do list, but I need time for that and it, uh, work has just been nuts, so I haven't got time for it, but I will do. Um, so I don't know whether any of you have tried something similar, not a fan dipole, fed with coax, a fan doublet fed with ladder line, that's what I'm looking at here. So specifically that, and specifically where maybe you've used at least one or two of those uh, uh, dipoles or doublets coming off have been for non, have been non-resonant basically. So. Anyway, non-resonant on any band, I mean. So anyway, see what you think. Put your comments below. I especially would like to hear from you if you've actually tried this or if you have the knowledge to go with it in terms of what you think is going to happen. Um, if you've got antenna software and you fancy spending a rainy Sunday afternoon doing it for me and modelling it, hey, fantastic. You'll be forever in my thoughts and in my prayers and in my thanks. But if you don't, hey, don't, don't worry, please. I'm not putting it as an appeal for someone to do it. But if you want to give me your thoughts and opinions on it and let me know what you think. Um, so there we are. That's the dilemma. So I've got a pass to do this <laughs> from the station manager. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, I've, I've got basically all day Saturday to, uh, to tweak and, and, and see what I can do with it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway. Well, I'd run up by you and see whether any of you can maybe give me a bit of an indication as to what you think might happen with it. But thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you like what you see, click subscribe, press that thumbs up button and the notification bell. But you know, whatever. Thanks for watching. I hope you're staying safe, by the way. Uh, we're only two weeks now, basically, before Christmas, aren't we? It doesn't, for me, yet feel like Christmas. I hope it does soon. I'm really looking forward to the break. And I dare say you'll hope you're looking forward to the break yourselves and... Uh, the chance maybe to see your loved ones. Anyway, 7-3, wherever you are, thanks for watching again. Tim G 5 tm All the best, and I'll do an update on, 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 the, uh, on the antenna soon. Bye-bye now.